It is an honor to stand before you today and introduce a landmark legislation that aims to confront a crucial concern in our basic education sector, the mental health problems plaguing our children and youth. I want to remind you that even K-pop artists who are often idolized as flawless and perfect individuals are not immune to mental health struggles. One heartbreaking example is Jung Yoon, a member of the group Shin Yi, who tragically took his own life in 2017. In a note made public a day after his death, the 27-year-old expressed feeling deeply broken from inside. In 2019, Su Lee, a former member of K-pop FX, also ended her life. She was known for her outspokenness regarding mental health issues, cyberbullying, and women's rights. Unfortunately, her advocacy subjected her to intense scrutiny and online backlash. These incidents tell us one thing. It is crucial to acknowledge that mental health issues can affect anyone, regardless of their profession or fame. Given this context, it is my privilege and honor to sponsor Senate Bill No. 2200, otherwise known as the Basic Education, Mental Health, and Well-Being Promotions Act. This proposed measure institutionalizes the school-based mental health program to promote and ensure the mental health and well-being of all learners in public and private basic education schools across the country. Mr. President, STEAM College cannot continue to allow our learners to suffer in silence. It is up to us to create a world where mental Mental health is valued where those who are struggling are not judged or dismissed but embraced with understanding and care. We owe it to our children to provide them with an education that is not only academically driven but also mentally and emotionally enriching. Only then we can truly say that we are providing our learners with quality education. Thank you very much, Mr. President, esteemed colleagues.